What's going on, YouTube OCD for EDC here? What I got for your face balls today. We are checking out a brand new knife from Spyderco. Brand new to me. This is not from the Collector Club, but it is a cool model. It's one that they omitted from the Collector Club because it is not legal in every state, which is kind of a bummer. You know, it's one of those gray areas where the knife is legal to own, but not legal to carry in certain places. However, in my state, it is legal. Uh, so I was bummed out that they didn't send these. I was able to get my hands on one. I'm pumped about it. You guys might still be able to find one of these. So I will throw a link up in the description if I can find any of these in stock anywhere. Uh, but what I'm going to use for a little unboxing knife today, I'm going to use my wife's PM2 just because it was sitting here handy. You can see it looks like a pigsty because she abuses all of her knives. Uh, but you know, you know the deal. Go and uh, check out uh, OCD for EDC. Get yourself a little CME. This one's uh, glittered up for the ladies. Uh, you know, she's trying to put some flair on them. Uh, you know, go uh, go pick you out one because they are super cool. Now, yeah, this thing needs to be sharpened for sure, which is just par for the course with my wife and her knives. Uh, but let's get into this box and see what we have going on here now i ordered this from cutlery shop and there is some packing peanuts as well as some cut up foam okay they put it holy cow look at all the stuff that they put in here i felt like this thing seemed a little bit uh heavy so they sent a whole bunch of they must have they must have solved it uh or you know, I don't know. I doubt that they send all this stuff with every single knife because there is a ton of stuff in here. Look at all the stickers. Holy cow. So Cutlery Shop, I, I've met the owner of Cutlery Shop at a few different, uh, you know, blade show events and that kind of stuff. And this is super cool. They even sent some candy. They sent some flight tags. So you guys know the deal. We'll uh, give some of this stuff away. We got a pen. Look at all that. Got some blow pop or Tootsie Pops. Very, very cool. I love the uh, Chipmunk Cutlery Shop stickers there. That's awesome. Yeah, very, very cool. Stay sharp. Well, that's that's awesome. We got a little, nice little stay sharp pouch there or patch. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, guys, for sending all this stuff along. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, go and check out uh, Cutlery Shop and they are a fantastic retailer that uh you know sells great stuff and the shipping was fast and the packaging obviously they did a good job but let's get into this let's check it out i'm sure you guys want to see what's in this box on the knives that get omitted from the collector club so here we go there it is this right here is all so of course we got the spider co sticker uh, we've got the little card to tell us, hey, this is not a stainless steel. Here is this exclusive limited edition small fly two. Is it was a special configuration only available through the knife distributor. Okay, it's a it's a cool knife. Like I said, bummed out that we didn't get this in the collector club, so this one's not going to have my collector club number on it. Nonetheless, very very cool knife and it is the small fly two for those that are not familiar of course we got some poison for the trolls because it is not a stainless steel let's get this put in there move this off to the side this is a battle song the spider co ballys are not super common um, they have made several of them over the years in different configurations smaller larger this is one of the most recent ones there is another one that's coming that has black g10 scales and i'm pretty sure the blade steel on that one is s30v this one if you guys know uh, the gray generally means either uh, maximet in the case of the pm2 and para 3 like this one right here this is a Maximet Para 3, uh, but this one is not Maximet. Let's uh, pop the uh, lock there. Okay, so it is spring-loaded. Uh, clip is four-way positionable, or you could just take it off. There we go. 
if you guys can see right there, it says Spyderco CPM Crew Wear. We do have a little hole in the blade. It is a nice drop point blade. This is a Golden Colorado model. If I can show it off, the light makes this difficult. There we go. If you guys can read that right there. It says Golden Colorado, USA Earth. We've got spring-loaded latch. We do have the wire pocket clip, but you know, uh, it is a small valley. Now, the handles here are quite interesting. We've got some contouring uh, or, you know, some, some shape. They're not just regular uh, stock handles. Uh, but this thing's actually very, very comfortable. We've got a little bit of a thumb ramp here as well as kind of a pommel that sticks out down here. Um, yeah, it's actually super comfortable. Now, I am not a good bally flipper. Uh, I'm definitely not a good flipper under a camera like this. But... I'm going to assume from what I feel that this is riding on phosphor bronze washers. I'm sure that it is. Uh, it seems very, very tight. Um, you know, there's a tiny bit of wiggle there, but it's uh, for other ballys that I've seen. Oh, and when it's open, it's incredibly tight. Oh, okay. So you can see the, uh, the blade stops they get caught between the G10 and the uh, stainless steel liners there, those pins. Yeah, very, very tight uh, in the open position. Oh yeah, this thing's rock solid. Very cool. This thing, uh, like I said, is a new model to me. Uh, and if I can find any of these in stock, I'll link it up in the description. But awesome. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some measurements on this old girl. See what we're dealing with here. So we got a closed length, uh, basically just four and a half inches. And we have a blade length. Uh, we'll just go from the pin there. Actually, let's just go from the handle. That's how they'll probably measure it anyway. 3.3 inch blade. So it's a decent size, but let's uh, check out the weight. For a 3.3 inch blade. Three point two two four ounces. So very, very nice weight for its size. What do we got for blade stock here? 118 thousandths, basically eighth inch blade stock. Uh, not gonna be super thin behind the edge, but not bad. Yeah, about, about 22 thou behind the edge. Uh, so, you know, decent geometry, full flat ground blade, crew wear blade steel. But I'll tell you, I mean, this thing's really comfortable in hand. It's better than I expected uh, for just in the hand comfort. Um, you know, I was a little bit unsure looking at the handle shape and whatnot. It seems a little bit uh, strange for a bally, but I think it works. I really do. Uh, the handle seems a little thick. Let's see. Yeah, it's not terrible, but it's it's kind of blocky on the edges, so there's no uh, there's no rounding this way, and it's kind of wide right here. Let's throw it down in comparison to a pair of three. So about the same uh, length and pocket as a pair of three. Um, yeah, not not terribly different. Here it is with a PM2. There you go. So that's kind of what you're looking at. I mean, overall length, it falls between the PM2 and the pair of three. Uh, but it's it's definitely a cool knife. There's no no two ways about that. I, uh, I'm liking how ergonomic it is. I like the fact that it kind of widens out back here. It just feels really, really positive in the hand. So as far as like a, a bally that's a good user... Uh, you know, this seems like a good choice. Uh, you know, most most ballys, I don't, I don't generally ever carry a ballet just because it's not, uh, you know, I'm not a good flipper and whatnot. But this seems like one that you could actually carry and use, uh, you know, of course, if it's legal in your area. Uh, of course, build quality seems to be there.
So you guys know the deal here. Anytime we open up a new knife, we got to check out and see what this factory edge is like. Uh, I have high expectations for this one coming in crew wear from Golden, Colorado. Generally speaking, these guys are pretty sharp, but let's find out. So small fly two in CPM crew wear from cutlery shop, Golden, Colorado model. Here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. All right. So that was an understatement. This is, this thing is freaking crazy sharp. A 70 is no joke on a plain edge knife. Um, yeah. For those that don't know anything under 200 is a really sharp knife out of the factory. Anything sub 100 is crazy sharp and uh, a 70 is insane. So that is, uh, a very very sharp knife so that is awesome love to see that golden colorado generally does a really great job uh all in all i think i think this thing is pretty cool now i don't know uh what the material is here it looks like aluminum i'm gonna guess that the the little bar lock here at the at the back of the knife is aluminum as well as this backspacer here uh just has an aluminum look to it yeah but, you know, of course, you could always remove the little lock if you didn't want it. Um, but it functions easily. And if you just uh, squeeze it, you know, it's spring loaded. So it's going to pop off just like that. Very cool. So, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, carry this thing around a bit and see how it works in pocket. Like I said, not... Uh, don't generally carry a balisong, but uh, this one here seems pretty usable. I'll report back and let you guys know how it goes if this is uh, actually a worthy uh, pocket carry. But right now I'm thinking, I think it looks pretty good. So I think the, the Magic 8 Ball is probably going to say all signs point to yes, right? So anyway, guys, hopefully you, uh, you enjoyed that little uh, look at... The CPM Crewware Special Edition Knife Distributor Exclusive Small Fly 2. Thanks so much. I'm out of here. Peace.